Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need Hey, hello guys, today I'm doing a sexy job on my Akai reel to reel. I'm replacing these uh, high voltage capacitors with a brand new one because I mentioned that uh, tension on the reel motors a little bit off and during recording I can see that uh, the level is jumping I check it up so if I add a little bit tension everything normalized so I have ordered these uh, high voltage capacitors and already in the progress of replacing so these white new white, white new ones and those are brown capacitors are still has to be replaced there are quite a few of them like half of the board all relays and like uh, when the switches to the motors and uh, it has to play around nicely to provide the necessary compensation for these motors so i hope this will help i'll see you when i will complete it and we will see if levels during recording will normalize as you see it's it's not convenient so i cannot just pull out the board or even like unplug it it just screwed like that. So you see, these wire screws, I just screw it on top of these pins. And if I would cut them off, <laughs> it would be a long way to bring everything back. That's how things are. And you see there is a ridiculous amount of capacitors as well. But those are still working. And those are already been replaced. It's the audio board, so audio capacitors has been replaced with Nishikon series. And transistors has been replaced with uh, 2SC 184550 from Fairchild. So all in all, it works fine. But I like to make sure that it will work perfect. Thank you. See you in the next part. Oh, okay, guys. After thinking a little bit more, I decided to replace all large capacitors. So this big guy, I don't have one of 160 volt. But I replaced all large capacitors on this board. And it should be much more reliable now. And I replaced it all those like white capacitors, as you see. Which are, works with the real motors. I hope it should work much better now. I will do one more time I give you quality of soldering and then we'll assemble and run it. Thanks for your attention. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it's continuous story with the Kai 635, so I'm replacing these high voltage motor capacitors. And like I had to replace this one either here. And like they did like most inconvenience in I have to unplug wires, I have to remove transformer. I can have like unplug everything just to get in there. It's ridiculous and like I have to replace this double capacitor with two separate ones for four microphone. Uh, but I will do it. Just give me some time. I like to make this torque moment well and bring this Akai back to the very good shape. Uh, thank you. Okay, well, I just soldered these wires here on this a 3.5 microfarad capacitor, which I will be connecting to the board. And this one works with cup stand, and we are replacing this guy. 5.580 volts 
this one is better, it's 3.520 volts. Uh, now I will use a fan to shrink these red things. Just give me a second to heat it up. You see, temperature is rising. Now they will be fully isolated, will not short anything, and will work well. And now I will be soldering it to the board there in place of this 3.5 I just pulled out. And if you need uh, 50, 50 gears, I believe you need uh, to replace another one here. The second guy is 1.5 microfarad. That's it. So there is a switch on the board 50 to 60 gears. And there is a switch on transformer. If you need like, to change voltage to the different one. Thank you, Susan. Oh, okay, guys. Let me show what I did. So I installed metal piece. Uh, I installed capacitors on this guy, so two first screws, those are screwed and one is tied with zip tie. And we have new wires connecting everything, we have everything fully isolated and isolated here. Sorry, I received a call, I will call you. I will call. Sorry, I had to take a call. So. While I was talking, I assembled a little bit. So what we have, we have three large white capacitors installed, new guys here. One is connected to the board for the capstan motor, right there. And two others are connected to the real motors. It's for four microfarads and like one for 3.5 microfarads. All I installed on this new metal piece or uh, that's where like next step i just like connected all wires i disconnected connected this remote connector those transistor it's time to start and see if it will work now so see you in the next part